Have you ever wanted to bend a spoon with a superpower? Yeah, me too. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do it and it won't be a party trick. Welcome to Impossible Science. Hey everyone, it's Jason Latimer, world champion of magic, coming to you with another Impossible Science. Now, today's topic is can we get a solid to transform itself and start acting like a liquid? And even though this is a trick, today I'm gonna to show you how to make what's called a gallium spoon. Using science, we'll have a spoon that will actually melt at our fingertips. Now, we're gonna transform from solid to liquid, which does bring up the question, what are the states of matter? Matter is a substance that makes up everything. So when we're referring to the states of matter, we're referring to the physical state of that substance. Scientists classify those states into solids, and then there's liquids and gases. Solids are easy to understand because they have a fixed shape, while liquids and gases do not have a fixed shape. Both liquids and gases, like water and water vapor, take on the shape of the container they're in, so they have no specific shape. So scientists treat both liquids and gases as fluids because they flow. By convention, we call a fluid with a high density of matter a liquid, and we call a fluid with a low density of matter a gas. So when we are talking about states of matter, we're really describing the state of the substance is either a solid or a type of fluid. Now that we know the states of matter, if you wanted to go from liquid to gas, well then you're interested in evaporation or you're interested in the boiling point. But if you're interested in a magic illusion where we can go from a solid spoon to a liquid, well then we're interested in the melting point. And there's a metal that has a pretty low melting point and it's called gallium. Now this metal has a melting point at roughly 85.57 degrees, which is like 10 degrees more than room temperature. Now the reason why it's solid right now is because I froze it and literally just made casted this from a liquid, put it in the freezer, and now it's touching my skin, so it's quickly warming up. It's roughly, my skin is 93, 92. You can see that the surface is 86, 87, so it's gonna start melting in my hand. This is also gallium. It's a little bit warmer, and I think it's closer to 85, oh, eight, right where it's supposed to be melting. That's the surface too, it's a little solidifying. So if I keep this in my hand, you can actually see my hands look dirty, but they're actually, it's just the gallium rubbing off my fingertips. But if I put it in my hand, it's, it's really heavy. You can actually feel it and it just looks like, whoa. Now you can see that if we found a way to get this liquid metal to take the shape of a spoon, well, then you could see why it would melt at our fingertips as long as we kept the heat above 85 and a half degrees. So let's make a spoon. So how do you actually make a gallium spoon? Well, there's actually molds that you can buy online, which is crazy. Apparently this is a thing. It's still connected at the bottom if you take a close look at it. And that's so that everything stays aligned. First, we're going to take some boiling water, right? And I'm going to place it in here. Now I'm not going to fill up that much and I'll show you why because I always keep my gallium in a separate container and I place it inside that hot water. That way it melts, but I also don't mix water inside it. So I'm actually heating it up with water uh, rather than putting it on a stove or something like that. Now uh, for molds, we're gonna be using a little kind of um, syringe and we're actually gonna inject the gallium into this mold. But you can't just push it in there right now because it would just seep out the sides. So we're gonna assemble this. Let's get this put together. All right, so now I'm gonna slide this in there. Now here's a couple other tricks. You want these down, but you want them snug, but not tight. Now comes the fun part. You actually, we're gonna suck up the gallium and then we're gonna inject it into this mold. Now I'm gonna try to do this as steady as possible so it goes all the way down to the bottom. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing it this way. I'm actually injecting from the top down because if I tilt it sideways, I don't want it to bleed out the side. And by doing it this way, I can actually see inside as it's filling up. Top it off just a little bit. I think I did a good job on that one. 
Okay, now I've let the mold sit in the freezer for a little bit and uh, I can tell just by the temperature it's gotta be solid by now. So let's just take it apart and see how we did. This is always the scariest part because you can't really tell if you got all the air out of it while you're filling it up. And let's see how we did. Ah, we did really good. You can see it in there. It's got a little leftover pieces on the sides, uh, but for the most part, that looks like a pretty solid spoon. That's great. That will totally work. Now here comes the tricky part. I have to pull this out without breaking the spoon, but if I apply too much pressure, the heat from my hands will melt the spoon. So let's uh, see what I can do here. I'll split it out here. And it ha it's gonna be very brittle when I pull it out. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a wiggle to come out here. Oh, I don't wanna apply too much pressure after waiting for this thing to solidify. There it is off a couple of this little excess piece here. Well, there you have it. There's a spoon. Now we know because we made this spoon that if we let this sit and it gets into the temperature of about 85 and a half degrees, it's gonna start melting. It will start bending. Now I've seen a lot of magicians hold their spoons like this. Uh, not saying any of them are using gallium, but they could do it here. But I think we could actually make this look really magical from just holding it from the tip over here. Now, all you'd have to do is concentrate or just squeeze here and let the, let the temperature of your hand actually melt the spoon. Let's see if I can get it to work this way. I'll focus my energy. Now, even though it broke off, it was melting. In fact, you can see it puddling inside the spoon. That's great. Now, you're probably wondering, how did that just melt so quickly? Well, it didn't really just melt because I didn't make the room 85 and a half degrees, but I did put a hair dryer right up there just to blow hot air on it. But even though bending is pretty cool, what if I told you you can actually make it vanish? So if you wanna make it vanish, put some hot water right there. You can actually make something like this vanish instantly. <laughs> Gone. In fact, I can do it with the, sti the stick. Wah! Just check that out. It just turns into droplets of gallium. Well, that's it for today. We actually made a melting bending spoon and we didn't do it with the trick. We did it through science. And if that looked like magic to you, then let me know. Put the word magic in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the episode, just click the like button and share the video with your friends. And until next time, stay curious because the right question changes everything.